Hi, I'm LP Master 6, and welcome to Let's Play Dr. Mario BS version. Not BS Dr. Mario, because there are slight differences in the naming conventions of Satellaview games. But I'm not going to get into that right now because that's boring. I'll save it for when I run out of better things to say. Like, this is the Dr. Mario half of Tetris and Dr. Mario slammed onto a Satellaview broadcast. And the ROM has survived to this day and we can play it bountifully to our heart's content. Even though I've already done Tetris and Dr. Mario on the channel, and that's a more full game, but with Action Replay Code, you can still play Tetris on this ROM. So if you have no other way to play Tetris, and you have this ROM for whatever reason, you can use Action Replay to play Tetris right here. I guess it's better because it's naughtier, it's an unintended way to play Tetris. So it's like sex in public. They don't want you to do it that way, so it's better. Sorry for any children watching. But here's the list of all the differences according to Nintendo Wiki between this and the other version of the game. The copyright data is at the bottom of the screen, even though it doesn't say on Nintendo Wiki uh, that they added 1997, the date of the broadcast, uh, they did say, if you press B, you can't go back to the main menu. But they should have added another thing. There's no demo if you wait long enough on the screen. There were three things on that article, and they could have added two more. Step up your game, Nintendo Wiki, please. 1997, no demo. I should go add it myself. Okay, enough lollygagging. I don't have any plans or intentions or goals for this Let's Play. You're just going to listen to me talk and listen to chill because I always do fever, so I'm going to switch it up a bit. Uh, so sorry if you guys were ready to really jam out to fever, because I do prefer it over chill. I know most people don't, but wait, no, that's not true at all. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, most people prefer fever, but I know a lot of people like chill. Whew. Level one already, here we go. I am entirely unpracticed. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> you can tell I'm unpracticed. And for whatever reason, it feels really awkward in all my failed takes. Like, using the Pro Controller on an emulator for a game that's even just this precise just feels so wrong. Like, the inputs either go, most of the time they just go slightly too far and it's obnoxious. But I'm still using it anyway. I'm using SNES 9X for anybody wondering. And all right, it's time to say the neat fact you've all been waiting for. The name and conventions of Satellaview games. Now, they reserved, it seems to me at least, the BS title as a header for, uh... Oh God, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't know what to do when my brain can't focus on the game. Why? I don't know why I did that. Uh, yellow and red, yellow and red. <sighs> um, um, uh, reserve it for big changes to games. Like BS The Legend of Zelda, for example, was an entire remake of the original Zelda 1. And BSF Zero Grand Prix is like a semi sequel. It's got the same tracks, different cars, new tracks. Uh, and everything. So, you know, that's a significant re-release. This is insignificant. The only exception to this rule would be uh, only because of the West getting Tetris Attack, but Japan not getting an SNES version. That's why uh, the game BS Yoshi's Panapon is named as such. Instead of, you know, Yoshi's Panapon BS version. Because in Japan, that was a significant release. So there you go. You're more educated on the Satellaview. But that's just... I could be completely wrong and they could all be named the same. But that's the naming convention I'm using for the channel. For anybody wondering why I'm playing this, you've probably never seen me before. And if you haven't, I'm LP Master 6 and I am Let's Playing in release order... Every game and every series relevant to the original Super Smash Brothers, including the Mario series, the Donkey Kong series, the, 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 the Legend of Zelda series, the Metroid series, the Yoshi series, the Kirby series, the Star Fox series, the Pokemon series, the Earthbound series, and the F-Zero series. 
Sorry, I can't talk that fast anymore. I don't know why, why I do this. Please! No, no, no! God, God damn it. Hold on. Okay, that's good. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of you. Oh, we got so much cleanup to do. I didn't think I'd need to practice for this. But I actually got a game over on um, <laughs> level two in another take and I got so mad. I didn't really get mad. I just got disappointed because my commentary was finally decent. Fuck. Oh my god. No, please. Alright, uh, we'll just get rid of you. Uh, we'll get rid of you there, that way. Alright, what else do we have to get rid of? That's good. That was a solid decision. Um, shit. Alright. I see, I'm getting too scared. I should have used that. Uh, we'll use this right here. And then we'll... I don't know why I thought that was four and I'd be able to take it out. Oh my god. You know what? That's it. We're That's good enough. <laughs> You've seen this game plenty of times anyway. We're not going to be doing multiplayer because my wife already did the multiplayer with me for Tetris and Dr. Mario. So I'm just going to play some versus computer, I guess. Uh, god, we need easy. Well, let's go with hard. Why not? Uh... But we'll do, we'll do uh, level one. Uh, we'll send him to level five, and then we'll do low, high for him, and fever. Perfect, beautiful. <laughs> this will let us play for a bit longer while I talk about some nonsense. But ooh, I don't remember what I was saying. My bad. I will tell you, this was the final game to ever be broadcast on the Satellaview. Not that we're done on the Satellaview, this was just so insanely popular because... I'm, I'm not sure why. I imagine that most people already had Dr. Mario, but... I guess plenty of them didn't, or they just saw an excuse to hop online and play some Dr. Mario, so they did. Nothing wrong with that. But, uh, when the Satellaview sang its swan song in 2000, this was it. At least I'm pretty sure it was 2000. Yeah, it was definitely 2000, not 2001. Okay. But it feels weird because we still have plenty of Satellaview to go. It's in its heyday right now. What? He beat me? Oh, God, I suck. I'm awful. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. We can do this. I shouldn't have put my speed to low. That was the mistake. Um, I'll just deal with you. Look at me focusing uselessly. Oh, come on. Don't even give me that. I think of that every single time that happens in a puzzle game. <laughs> Alright, uh, we want you, we want you so bad, babe, I want you, okay, uh, you don't need to hear me sing the Beatles anymore, what you need is good quality commentary and Dr. Mario gameplay. So I was re-watching, because I'm re-watching all of my old Let's Plays to edit out, uh, offensive stuff. Mostly shock value humor that I said before and uh, oh My god, the dr. Mario gameplay was so painful to watch. I was so bad I mean, I'm not good now, but I'm not terrible Especially while I'm not talking he beat me again when I had one left No, we have to beat him at least once come on uh, but it was just so painful to watch. And in Nintendo World Championships 1990, where I played, uh, Tetris, I didn't know how to play it. I thought the colors mattered. And that is such an infamous moment for me to look back on in the channel. Because I used to not know how to fucking play Tetris. Ugh. It's just, <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> Wait, oh, I forgot the red was there. Damn it. It doesn't, actually, that was helpful. Since he dropped the blue in that exact spot. Okay. Uh, you can go there. 
You can go there. Boom. Nice. All right. Oh, and we did a combo on him or however you get these. I can't remember. Again, I haven't done Dr. Mario research in quite a long time. Didn't even know there was a yellow down there until just now. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. No more yellow. No more red. And now we're just... Oh, we did it. We kicked his ass. Fair and square, obviously. Man, maybe one day I'll actually get good at a puzzle game. Oh, there's been a few I've been decent at. Can I think of them right now? No. I was okay at Kirby Star Stacker. Plugging a recent Let's Play, I guess. Oh, damn. No. Thanks, guys, for uh, not very many people watching Game & Watch Gallery. Even though I poured my heart and soul into that. I, I really didn't expect many people to watch it anyway. Because it's just Game & Watch Gallery. People think, oh, that sounds boring as hell. And it probably is. Although I think my commentary was actually really good. At least the, the stupid bits with the post-commentary with that joke I steal from Nintendo Capri Sun by having two of myself talk at the same time and me critiquing the other one. Oh, that is some jamming music. Thank you to whoever converted the soundtrack to SNES. Damn. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I didn't have much more to say anyway. I don't have any life updates for you or anything, but I thought I was going to talk about nonsense for way longer. And this was only 12 minutes <laughs> for a full Let's Play. Oh, well. It feels like this is filler. Like, this is a filler arc in the grand scheme of the Nintendo anime in the release timeline. Because, you know, when I think of filler, I don't think of anime, but the first time I looked up what filler was... And then after that, multiple times, just to see if the definition still included anime, it always did. Why? Filler is in everything, not just anime. So there's your lesson of the day. My next Let's Play is another Satellaview game. BS The Legend of Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets. I will see you then. I'm LP Master 6. Doom.